Hello and welcome to the 21st episode of Behind the Railway series, where we take a look at the stories of the Railway series and locate the real-life counterparts in history. Next up is the series' 21st book, Mainline Engines, first published in 1966. The stories in this volume take place around the main line and the Sodor China Clay Works, operated by the tank engine twins Bill and Ben. In the first story, The Diesel, Bill and Ben's trucks are taken away by a new diesel, so the twins play out the diesel, named Boko, by playing a trick on him. In Buzz Buzz, James gets attacked by a swarm of bees, leaving Boko to take his train. Wrong Road sees Gordon's Express getting diverted onto Edward's branch line, and the final story, Edward's Exploit, has Edward taking visitors home despite a broken crank pin. As I mentioned in the end of the last episode, the amount of work required to write a volume of the Railway series was so consuming that Reverend Audrey decided to retire from the Church of England and his parish at Emmouth. His children, Christopher, Veronica, and Hilary, were all by now grown up, and the three and a third percent royalty from the railway series supplied enough income for both him and his wife, Margaret, to live fairly comfortably. In 1965, the Reverend delivered his last sermon at Emneth and moved to a small house in Stroud, which he and his wife named Sodor. In order to get new material for stories, the Reverend, his brother George, and his son Christopher would travel all over the UK each summer to find curious local railways that could work out on Sodor. One railway they visited was at the Port of Parr in Cornwall, which specialized in China clay. Two locomotives operated the line, small squat cab tank engines named Alfred and Judy, who would become the basis of Bill and Ben, the two engines who worked at the Sodor China Clay Company. Oko, who first appears in The Diseasel, is based off the Metropolitan Vickers Type 2, or the BR Class 28. The name Boko is merely a reversal of the locomotive's wheel arrangement, Kobo, along with paying homage to the character of Boko Fiddleworth from P.G. Woodhouse's Jeeves stories. The events of Wrong Road were based off the not-unusual issue of misdirected trains on railways, and the incident of Edward's exploit happened near Settle in 1960. The events of Buzz Buzz, meanwhile, as strange as they may seem, based on a real accident recorded in the Times on August 13, 1956. In Charing Cross Station, a beehive being transferred to a waiting train lost a dozen bees, which caused the station to clear like magic. All but four of the bees were recovered and placed in a new hive, so thankfully no engines were stung on the nose. Mainline Engines was another hit, but the Reverend Audrey had more plans in store for the island of Sodor including a whole new railway based off one he had visited in the Cumbrian Lake District. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and also leave a comment below. Until next time, I'm Captain Rutledge. Good day.